This movie is about ICOM 7000. This is the original packing, the manual, and of course the radio. Radio comes. This radio comes with a microphone, Hotel Mic 151. It's a fairly compact radio. Take you a closer look to the to the radio to see that it's in a beautiful condition, mint condition, as new. No problem, no scratches, no dents or whatsoever. It wasn't used on mobile and it wasn't used on portable operation. Only as a desktop station. Actually, it's a, a very a very capable desktop station with a lot of flexibility on the filters, power output, modes, covers from um, yeah, 160 to 6 meters, very, uh, very, very capable small radio. A lot of um, yeah, flexibility and uh, ergonomy for, for instance, uh, um, using the microphone, I can access the triple band stacking register if I want to jump on a frequency uh, for instance on 70 centimeters just press the button with corresponding that frequency or 14 uh, 20 meters 20 meters CW press again I have a single sideband here is India Kilo 5 sugar radio Fox calling CQ CQ DX 20 meters pressing again I have the digital mods RTTY and CW it is, a jump, it is a easy jumping on a frequency, of course there is a bend up, bend down uh, uh, buttons. It's very easy to, to work with. What I really like is the filter select, is the filter, uh, the filters, um, the possibility to change the three filters. 2 kilohertz, 2.4, 3 kilohertz. You can customize each filter by pressing longer on the filter. You can set the bandwidth of each filter by pressing bandwidth and modify. You can also change the, the shape of the filter from sharp to soft. My name is Paolo, Papa America, Oscar Lima, Oscar P A O L O. Paolo is the name, and I'm located in the central part of Italy, about 300 kilometers north of the capital, Rome. 2 kilohertz bandwidth, 2.4. The Zulu Lima station is a noise level. Uh, my antenna is very modest here. It's uh, only a, the, the dipole for 80 meters. An another nice feature is the pass band tuning. I pressing the button. I can access the passband tuning, and uh, it's very, very useful to uh, to to use. For instance, if there is a an interference on the side of the filter, I can switch the the passband tuning, dual passband tuning, to correct. It's a very useful feature. The radio has also an automatic notch filters in case of um, uh, uh, tuning uh, station and, and on CW uh, what I like most about this um, um, on this receiver is the manual notch actually there is two manual notches you can set it up independently put it on and off Actually, you have two notches, two 70 dB notches. Uh, it's a very, very uh, useful feature 
you can also change the the, the bandwidth of the of the notching uh, system now it's on narrow but you can put it on wide or 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 mid mid medium uh, this uh, is actually available on the sideband also on pileups or there is a uh, interference station b b uh, below the, the frequency or above the frequency you can set the notches independently for every for every Or you can turn it on and off. Unlike the 7100, which has only one manual notch, this is a very, very nice um, uh, feature indeed. You can clear the, you can um, uh, clear the, the the spot with uh, this notch is very well. I tested on a uh, recently recent expedition and uh, on CW and it works uh, very very well so no problem at all there is a noise blanker press it once you have the noise blanker on the screen press longer you can set up the noise blanker the level of the blanking system level you wish uh, we have noise reduction it's very useful also and you can set it up as you wish and uh, um, preamplifier. I usually don't use the preamplifier. The receiver is very sensitive, and uh, usually do not need um, the amplifier on the radio. So it's a very very uh, easy to use. Filter selectivity. fine just to test the 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 manual notch It's a very useful feature. Two hundred and fifty hertz bandwidth now. Four hundred hertz and six hundred hertz. These are my options for CW. Go back to sideband. We press the button and we are there. Has a fusy control when you uh, when you uh, dial uh, rapidly, it's uh, it goes uh, faster to the desired frequency. Automatic notch, very useful. Notch is down, the tuning. Many station this morning, Roman. India Tango 9, Echo Juliet Papa. Tango Queen Florida. Italy Tango 9, Echo Juliet Papa. Visto Kilo 7, Delta Zulu 5 and 9. Thank you. Thank you, 44. That was the Victor Kilo 7. Tango, Quebec, Florida. Tango, 
about the noise reduction it, it can uh, with moderate level it didn't disturb the distort the audio Kill the station. No preamp. With a preamp on. The radio is plenty sensitive, no, no problem at all. Okay, Simon. Well, not not so much the memory. It's the catchy call signs. I can remember the SIM, you know, related to a SIM card in a a cell phone. On an RTDY. We've got also the <coughs> the decoder screen. You can make it larger. And uh, what I also um, wanted to mention it was the the quick setup menu for every for every mod. Uh, for instance, sorry, for instance, if I change the mod to CW. If I'm on C W, and um, I want to mo to change the the power, just press press once. I have the quick setup here, and uh, every settings here is mod it, it is mod dependent. I have the RF power on C W, the key speed, the C W pitch, sight on level, everything where is C W related. If I change the mod to R D Y. I have the twin peak filter, so the option um, necessary for uh, RTTY. Twin uh, filter, which is very useful on RTTY, polarity king, and so on. If I change the mode to, single, to uh, sideband, I have the RF power also, the microphone gain, the transmit bandwidth with the three settings on wide, mid, and narrow. Easy to set up and uh, uh, to configure. You don't have to go to a lot of menus and so on to scroll down the menus. 
it is very easy to, to set up because it is mod dependent it is mod dependent back on CW I change I can change the speed to the CW pitch only on the press of the of, uh, of a key so it's easy it's easy enough to uh, to get to it uh, so these are the the settings the audio from the radio is crisp and clear no trouble sounds good on CW sounds good on uh, on SSB also you can tailor your audio you can tailor uh, everything it's very very easy to use you can set up the the filters uh, the split mode we'll talk about split mode the memories the AGC you can change the AGC the time constant for 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 everyone it's a uh, configurable so it's a very nice feature for example you can configure the the fast medium and slow on uh, action on the CW also the same you can change it from single sideband or sideband and uh, very very useful it's a very very useful feature the dial mode you can put it on one slash four is a fact that the the, the dial for us uh, uh, fine tune. So this is a compact radio, but with a, a very decent receiver. Uh, and, uh, you expect a compromise when you when you see a small radio, but uh, it's not the case of the Icom 7000. It's uh, uh, very very compact and uh, a lot, with a lot of uh, flexibility on filtering and uh, uh, bands uh, that offers and modes and. Uh, and so on. It comes with the filter on the power supply cable. And uh, just a quick, quick look of, of the uh, RF power to the band. I switch my power meter. I have a dummy load back there and switch to the bands for the power output. So I'm on 160 right now. That's the focus. Let's put it on. 160 100 watts. On 80 meters. Now I'm on 40. On dummy load. It's 1995. It's not pretty accurate. So actually, there is 100 watts on every band. 20 meters now. 17 meters 15 meters 12, 12 meters uh, Also single uh, citizen band It's unlock on citizen band and um, 10 meters If someone wants to use it Of course I have the 6 meter but on 6 meter the dummy load is not very very good on 6 meter. You can notice also that there is 100 watts on, on 6 meters. There is also on, uh, on, uh, on uh, 2 meters. On 2 meters I have to change the, the cable to the, to the antenna number 2 uh, socket. But there is everything. Everything is in order also with the 2 meter and uh, 70 centimeter. Uh, this is the radio and the microphone. Again, it comes with the user manual and original box, and uh, everything it work as it should. No scratches. It's a beautiful condition. So thanks for watching.